What's up guys? I'm gonna take you through a week in my life where I set goals and then show you my progress towards them. So the goals are separated into categories like relationship, entrepreneurship, physical, mental, financial, work, and artistic. I also wanna show you my tracker. This is how I set my goals for the week and for the day. And I basically check off and mark what I do. The point of this vlog is to communicate how important it is for you to understand yourself in order to reach your goals. So let's go. I'm just gonna hunch over so you can see me. It's the middle of the week, it's Thursday, which is not actually the middle of the week day, but if you count from Monday to Sunday, it is the middle of the week. So I wanna give you guys an update on where I'm at with my goals this week. I'm not sure if I mentioned this already because it's been a few days since the first part of the vlog, but I basically keep track of what I wanna do for each day. And then at the beginning of the next day, I will track if I did those things or not, like if I accomplished those goals. And I have a different goal for each goal category. So like relationships, physical, mental, etc. By the way, I'm doing this during my lunch break, during the work day. It's like two o'clock, I guess, which is a late lunch, but. Hey Google, how much time is left? Okay, I have nine minutes left in my lunch break, which I give myself about 30 minutes for. I'm gonna take a little bit longer today, but I do have stuff to do at work, so. So I'm gonna just start with my goal categories, tell you what the goals were and how I'm doing so far. So for relationships, this is like, you know, it's kind of corny, but relationships are ultimately, I think, what make you the happiest in life. So having good relationships is important, and that's why I have it as a goal. That goal category is broken down into significant other, which is like, you know, girls, family, and friends. And so I basically want to do at least one of those things per week. And specifically, I want meaningful connections in each of those subcategories. Okay, so I'll, I decided I'll talk about the family and friends goals, but the meaningful significant other relationship, I'm not gonna talk about that one. At least not right now. So for family, I haven't really had a meaningful connection, like a call or anything, but I just saw them last week in person. Like I went back home and saw them in person. So I will make a point to call them, but it's just like, I just saw them, so. But for the friends connection, last night I went to a crypto meetup and met a ton of new people and hung out with my new friend who invited me there. And so number one, I strengthened that relationship, which is awesome. 
And now I have a bunch of new, like green, fresh relationships uh, with friends who are interested in things that I'm interested in. And that also ties into, you know, entrepreneurial kind of career goals as well. So it's, it's really meaningful to go to that kind of stuff for me. For entrepreneurship category, I, basically right now, I just want to track my progress every day and update my tracker system as I need to. So I've been doing that every day successfully and I'll just keep going on that. The entrepreneurship goals are also kind of tied in to the artistic goals because that is like being a creator. And I'll talk about that in a second, how my progress is there. So for physical goals, I'm still, have a little bit of a cold which sucks but i did go for a run today which felt awesome it was cold out but it was sunny it was it's always fun running in new york i think i just want to do real light physical activity while i'm still coughing and you know running others but just to keep that on track and then also for one of my physical goals i have like diet which basically i just track my macros and then try to eat healthy so not fast food not a bunch of processed foods and i would say i'm not hitting my macros unfortunately and that is important so i would say like you know i could try to make excuses and everything but i would say i start out in the day pretty good but then for dinner and sometimes for lunch i will basically not do as good so i'll like order fast food or you know go get dinner and like not hit my protein goals so that's something that i definitely need to work on because i also think that getting that right nutrition will help me get over this sickness Quicker. Okay, mentally, I try to meditate, I try to journal. Those ones I'm pretty good at. And then I also, you guys are gonna like this, I journal by just speaking into my iPhone and doing voice to text on a Google Doc. So I open a Google Doc, turn on the voice to text, and then I just literally talk about like what has happened so far in the day, what happened yesterday, and I try to do that once a day. And so I'm pretty good at that. I try to do it twice a day, but once or twice is good. And then meditating, like I cannot be a bigger advocate for meditating. I think it really helps me think clearly and I do it pretty much every morning. So I'm pretty good at that. And then I also, oh yeah, so what I was mentioning that you guys are gonna like, like during the middle of the week, I will go to my Google Doc that has all my journal entries and then I will put it into ChatGPT and I'll say, hey, summarize my week so far. And that means that I don't have to read back through all of the text that I wrote to get a high level understanding of how my progress has been so far. And just like what's going on in my head, what I'm thinking about so I can reflect on it. And then I literally asked ChatGPT, okay, how can I improve? And then it'll give me some recommendations or whatever. And a lot of times it's common sense stuff or like something like that, like not too complicated because it is ChatGPT, but sometimes it is stuff that I haven't thought about yet or I'm just not, it's just not top of mind. And that just helps me kind of understand the bigger picture of what's going on in my head. So I really, I like that. And then I also do the summary at the end of the full week as well, which I'll show in the next vlog, in the next update. Okay, so for financial, not gonna talk about that, but I have budget goals and I have yearly savings goals. I'm gonna try to find a way that I can talk about that without giving the exact numbers because I don't wanna do that. But I can still update you guys on what my progress is, if I'm on track, all that kind of thing, so. <sighs> Stop. Okay, break time's over. Yeah, I don't know why. Switching up the angle for ya. Make it, keep it interesting, okay. Next up, work goals. So, I'm trying to think about how to talk about this with you guys without giving away company secrets. So I work at a tech company. I'm a software engineer, if you didn't know. And I'm trying to get to the next level. I'm trying to get promoted, right? So I set goals for the week, like a high level objective. And I would say that I'm on track to achieve that objective pretty much as, as good as I can do. And how I break that down and track it in a metrics driven way is I track focus sessions. So I want to have a certain number of focus sessions per day on average. And these focus sessions include deep work and meetings. It's just like any time that I'm actually working without doing other stuff like going to the bathroom, eating lunch, um, going for a walk, taking breaks, that kind of stuff. So I have a certain number of focus sessions and I, that's what I track per day. And so usually, as I've experienced in the past, if I meet those focus session goals per day, then usually I'll meet the key objective for the week. And let me give you an example, I guess, because this is kind of confusing. So say you want to make a design for your software. Well, 
you have to write the design. So for one week, the objective is to write the design. And then I'll set, say, three focus sessions per day, which I'm not gonna tell you how many minutes there are, because I don't wanna say like how much I work, how much I don't work. Yeah, it's just more personal. But, and then I set a certain number of focus sessions per day that I think will be enough to help me achieve that key objective. Oh man, I need to get better at this, okay. Man, f this lighting, I don't like this. Okay, we're moving you back over here. <clears throat> okay, so, yeah, I don't know about that either. <laughs> okay, there's my dirty dishes. Yeah. So, I'll hit those focus session goals, or try to, and then hopefully I hit my key objective for the week. And then I just track my progress from week to week to make sure I'm on track towards the longer term goal. And so, the update for this week is that I'm pretty much on track with the focus session goals and the longer term objective for this week. Okay, finally, I have a artistic goals category, which is pretty much just like Instagram and YouTube. I'm thinking about how to incorporate that into the entrepreneurship goal thing, but that will progress as I kind of just take action. I'll figure it out. So I wanted to do, I have on here two Instagram posts and I did do two Instagram posts this week. And I also wanted to do this vlog. And so I feel like I'm pretty much on track for those. But yeah, so I got the two Instagram posts done. I'll probably actually make another one. I think I need to update that to three Instagram posts per week. And then just keep going on the YouTube stuff. So far, so good. But yeah, okay, okay, I'm reading my Slack messages. <clears throat> Nothing urgent. I'm gonna give you guys some more tips throughout this video. By the way, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. You can catch future videos. And to help with the algorithm, you know, algorithms, love them, hate them. And I will give you guys a update at the end of the week with probably some tips along the way, if I think of any. But yeah, all right, let's get it. <music> every morning recently today i'm drinking blue bottle coffee blend roast and it is i think called three africas it's pretty good it's my first time brewing it so pretty good i think i, I can do better though i like the lighter roast i like the single origins but i just got this i wanted to try it yeah so ignore my hair it's friday morning uh i want to show you guys a little tip so in my calendar so every morning like i said i track my goals and i set my goals for the next day and then i schedule some things about those goals on my google calendar and in order to make that google calendar i wrote a script using chat gpt i used chat gpt to write a python script that generates a calendar file that i can import into google calendar to make the calendar so it's pretty much the same events every day I don't know if you can hear that dog, my neighbor's dog. I definitely can. But yeah, I just made a script. It makes the events and then I import that file into the calendar and then I adjust the events for that specific day, add any new events um, and make sure that I can fit everything into the day that I want to do that day. And for the record, I don't stick to this calendar like it's set in stone, but I do like the event notifications to pop up just to remind me of stuff like to meditate or journal or to eat lunch or to start working, whatever. And then obviously the important stuff like dinners and dates and other kind of events, but yeah. second intervals it's called seconds and it basically beeps every 30 seconds so if you want to stretch or do something you know every 30 seconds take a 90 second rest in between sets it works really well so <clears throat> yep seconds it's called seconds
got this thing, which is like an Aura ring, but this is just the sizing band. But I ordered one, it's coming tomorrow. And then I picked up this sport band for my Apple Watch. And I got this thing, which is a heartbeat monitor. There's my heart beating, boom, boom. So this is what my run looked like. 20 minutes, average 171 BPM, uh, heart rate. Uh, this is why I wanted the heart rate tracker because of this thing. So you can see like how long your heart rate is up. That's what you want to do is you get like 20 minutes of pretty much high heart rate. I went way too high, but you, you can just go right here. Okay, so I don't know where I left off in the last update, but I am like really busy right now. So I'm just going to give you guys an update on what I think I should do. Also, it's pretty early and I haven't really, I'm bad at talking, but anyways. The reason I'm doing this update, I think that one of my principles is done is better than perfect. So I'm just gonna give you the update, tell you how the week went and let's get into it. So I tracked my progress for the last week and let's just go through the categories. So remember, relationship goals. Wanted two meaningful family connections. I had one. I talked to my grandma and grandpa, which was awesome. I wanted one meaningful friend connection. I had two, like I think I gave you in the last update, uh, I went to a crypto meetup. I also went to a scholarship dinner. The dinner was okay and I'm glad I went and I think it was meaningful. <clears throat> it was for the college that I went to. Okay, anyways, next section. For entrepreneurship category, just wanted to use my tracker every day, update it, do the reviews, did that well. For physical goals, how did I do during the week? I'm still pretty sick or at least have a cough and everything. I only like did my diet goals for breakfast and lunch and dinner was always like kind of a kind of a mess. So I think dinner is one of the areas that I need to focus on and also getting enough protein because I think that is the biggest contributor. But on Saturday, I did do all of my macronutrient and micronutrient goals and I found that I was kind of having a, I need to do better on my micronutrients. So I literally added some foods to my grocery list to make sure that I'm getting the right micronutrients. And the only supplement that I added was this fish oil thing, which is actually, I don't know if it's really a supplement because it's kind of a real food. So I'm confident now about hitting my micronutrient goals for mental goals, category, mental category. I did pretty well here, meditated every day. The goal was an average of 1.15 times per day, which basically means I would do meditation a couple times per day. I also wanted to journal twice per day, a few days that I only did once, most days. Uh, and on Saturday, I didn't do it at all. I did summarize the journal entries during the middle of the week and the end of the week, which I liked. Uh, financial goals, not gonna talk about that yet. I did want to create a budget and I started working on that on Saturday. So I put some time in there, but I didn't get to actionable budget that I can track every day. And so I'll talk about that a little bit and what's gonna happen in the next week. For work goals, I didn't get the design approved, but I did get approved by the managers uh, who I needed to get approved by. We're one step closer and it was hard to get even to that point. One thing I noticed about work is that I think because I am a bit stressed and like overloaded with work and personal goals, I think it's rubbing off on the team. So I do want to manage my stress uh, a little bit better. For artistic category goals, I wanted to do two Instagram posts this week. I did that. I also had some reels goals, like posting reels. Uh, I didn't do that, but I think I'm actually fine with that. I think the most important thing is just posting, not necessarily reels. The idea that I have for reels doesn't really work well with how the app is now. I also wanted to spend 90 minutes on YouTube. I did that and uh, I'm happy with that, but I do need to improve on just getting stuff done because to be honest, it's actually Tuesday of the next week right now and I'm just filming the recap of the past week. Should have done that Sunday, but was busy. Okay, so now I'm gonna go into looking at the past week holistically and how I'm setting up the new week. So every week on Sunday, I do a weekly review. And this is where I look at the past week holistically, point out what I did bad, what I did good, and how to improve. Then I go to my quarterly view, which has week by week by week by week goals, and I update that section. And I see if I'm on track for my quarterly goals, which are more longer term goals than just week goals. And after I've looked at my quarterly goals, I'll make a new week. So this is gonna be week 12. Uh, last week was week 11. And then I'll update the weekly goals. You can just run through it category by category again. For example, for the relationship category, I have the same goals, no update there. 
but I do just two meaningful family connections, one meaningful friends connection. For the entrepreneurship goals, same goals there. For the physical category, I updated the goals to be resistance training, vigorous exercise, and the same macronutrient goals. Before it was resistance training, cardio, and the macronutrient goals, but I just specified exactly like what I want to do for resistance training. So I want to do 15 sets for three different muscle groups, like 15 sets for core throughout the week, 15 sets for shoulders throughout the week, and 15 sets for a uh, different muscle group like legs, you know, cause leg day. Everybody loves leg day. And the reason I did that is because that is what gets you to hypertrophy, as far as I'm aware, uh, and that's like contributes to muscle growth. Um, last week I had cardio specified, but I actually dug into that and what I want to aim for is vigorous exercise, which means having your heart rate at a certain level for a certain amount of time. And that's like the baseline of what you need for cardio health. So I just specified what that weekly goal is. For the mental category, instead of meditating an average of 1.15 times per day, I bumped it up to two times per day. Maybe I shouldn't have done that because I wasn't even hitting the 1.15 average but I do see the value in that. So if I shift some of my energy towards that, I think it'll help the other goals. Also journaling twice a day still and summarizing still. For financial goals, the goal for this week, since I don't have a budget yet, is just to build a baseline budget, like at least a budget that will help me get to at least a certain value. But as far as like my ultimate financial goal for the year and the next few years, I need a little bit more detailed budget that takes into account my potential earnings. And I know that's confusing, but just think of it like this way. I need a solid budget that'll get me at least to a certain number, but I need a little bit more detailed budget to get to the number that I actually want to get to. But the priority is that baseline solid budget. For work goals, want to get the design approved since I didn't get that fully last week. And I increased the number of focus blocks a little bit because this is how I know when to increase. If I'm hitting all my daily goals for the week, that means I'm doing well. And so that means I can increase the goal a little bit. It should be a little bit harder if I'm actually getting an A plus. If you're always getting A pluses, you're not trying hard enough. So you gotta increase the goal a little bit. Another rule of thumb is, another principle is to increase the goal by about 15%. So I was aiming for an average of, for example, 3.2 focus blocks per day and now I increased it to 3.8 focus blocks per day which is an increase of about 15%. For artistic goals, I reworked those based on the previous week and based on how the weeks fit into the quarterly goals and this week I want to do three Instagram posts and I specified what categories I want those posts to be in and then I also want to do YouTube but instead of just like a weekly minutes per week goal, I have like specific days of the week and what I want to do on those days. And I also need to find an editor. So that is a look at my week. I hope you guys uh, found this interesting. I know this vlog is not perfect. I'm going to make it better, but I just want to get it out there. Like I said, done is better than perfect. That's what they say. I think there's a lot of truth to that. So if you enjoyed the vlog, you want to follow the journey. Again, the purpose of this vlog is to communicate how important it is to understand yourself in order to achieve your goals and ultimately help other people. Make sure you subscribe, like, follow the journey. I'm also on Instagram, Jake, B-E-A-U underscore. All right, let's go. See you guys.